like live, here we are. Now, Mary earned her CSP last night. Very exciting. Not only is she a CSP, which is a certified speaking professional, she is a PhD and a Navy commander. So, very accomplished woman. I'm so delighted that you're here uh, to talk with us live. And congratulations on your CSP. Can you tell us a little bit about what is the CSP and what did you need to do to get it? And how it, you're a very accomplished person. What did CSP mean to you? Well, first, it's really great to be part of the group that is the certified speaking professionals. The outpouring of support from the other CSPs has been amazing. What we did yesterday, because there were a lot of us, so they <laughs> shook it up a little bit and did a ceremony beforehand so as not to give people in the general session about 60 minutes of here's a medal, here's a medal. And by the way, I'm going to wear this to every conference I go to. And I took this from uh, Dale Irwin this morning. And when people say, what is that? I'm going to say, 100 meter swim. <laughs> Meter fly. That's what I'm going to do. So I stole that from Dale, so thank you, Dale. Yeah. The outpouring of support was great because all these other CSPs and CPAEs showed up at the ceremony that we had to welcome us into this group. And I have to say, before the past two years, I really thought, how is being a CSP going to help my speaking professional when most of my associations don't know what that is? And I will tell you, that's not why you do it. You do it because this is a community of your peers and for them to recognize that you've gotten to a certain level of accomplishment is fantastic. It's Wonderful. fantastic. Now you had to demonstrate five years of success in the speaking profession. Yes. Um, and there's some hoops to jump through there. Yes. You know, it is not an insignificant amount of work. And you had your, now did you do the older model or the new model? Well, I did both because I like to do things <laughs> as hard as possible. I like to try and define the most difficult way possible. So I did it both ways. Excellent. And I, um, so I did it both ways, uh, long story that nobody needs to hear. So the hard part this time was getting the unedited video so that other people could review that because most of our video is sure. two minutes here, three minutes here, we trash the rest of it. So. I did, I sent in four full 60 minute videos, which is way more than anybody, including my mom, wants to see of me. And then they look at that as well. And then you get the thumbs up or the thumbs down. It's very Romanesque. It's a very Romanesque sort of process. But luckily, thumbs but luckily, up. thumbs up. And the other part, that, the one thing I would advise people to do, if you're looking to get your CSP, is to make sure that when they are going to send people who have hired you, the surveys that you, now you submit all this, I did all mine back in October, and they didn't send the surveys to people. I, I, it turned out until about May. And so people just got some kind of thing, hey, we saw Liz Green, uh, but I'm not gonna respond to some stranger delete, and they thought it was spam. Oh. So I had to go back and tell people, no, this is actually okay. Yes, please, and please, 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 please. <laughs> So sending people a note that said, hey, somebody's going to send you a note, and then if you can find out um, you know, where you kind of are in the process, you can warn them. That would be really helpful. And then everybody who gave me a survey, I went ahead and sent them a thank you note and just said, hey, thank you so much for being part of the certification process. It really is important and thank you for your support for you know these past several years. And Liz, I was very, very fortunate because I had done a lot of work with the military people mm -hmm. and my military people, once I said, there's a survey and I need you to do this for me, I, I had oh. all of them done in less than four hours. That's I mean, it right. was phenomenal. That's but right. for a lot of us, people change jobs. Oh, absolutely. They Tracking change down jobs. People. You have to track them down. And then all of a sudden, NSA is getting surveys from people that are not on the list. And so make sure you give NSA as updated a list of contact people as you can. That would be the one right. piece of advice right. I have. And the tracking of your business, what you have to keep track of for CSP, is actually really good business practice in terms of being intentional and you know, when we're busy we tend to not pay attention to those details sometimes but being intentional about your business I think I've heard that from other CSPs that that was something that moved their business forward. I think it's a happy accident. Um, in, <laughs> in that case, I do think that that's true. What I use is eSpeakers, and eSpeakers, wow. my assistant just inputs everything into eSpeakers, and if you do that now, this is the one thing I did not do the first two years, because I thought, well, I'm keeping track of my speaking engagements on Post-it notes, or <laughs> God knows what I was using. And then to go back through and find all those engagements right. and the points of contact, 
no. The one thing I would tell people is you get eSpeakers free with your NSA membership. Just use eSpeakers. Yes. We love everybody it there. It is a wonderful tool. It's Absolutely. a wonderful tool. And it makes getting your CSP so much easier. That's the one thing that I that did not, it. again, I did everything the hardest way possible and had to go back in and re-put that in, that in. And I used a gal out of Florida to do this for me. Her name is Kate Holgate. And she works with speakers to get this done. So oh, fantastic. She's fantastic. So shout out to Kate. Love you, Kate. And that's a really good point about, I'm sure you heard about that from somebody else who, who had used her in the past. Joaquin de Posada. And, you know, that's the beauty of NSA is the network that you create around yourself. And the people that you get to rub elbows with and I know we're on the live stream and you get to see what's on the main stage and that's great but you cannot replace being here and getting to rub elbows with somebody like Mary Kelly so I just took pictures with Steve Forbes Steve Forbes I walked up and I said hi you were brilliant and I'm an economist and you made my whole day because you talked about the economy and Steve Forbes looked at me and said can I have your business card oh oh it was a moment. Steve Forbes asked me for my business card. Are you, you kidding? This how, is how cool is that? So I know a lot of people can't come to convention every year. I know it's a huge cost. It's a huge expense. It's time away from business. But I have to tell you, folks, that next to Steve Forbes, sitting here with Elise Green is the highlight of the convention. <laughs> The highlight of the convention. She is so fun, so talented, so beautiful, great energy. And if you have not spent any time with Liz Green, you have to. And it's worth it's worth going to DC next year. Oh, and I am gonna be in DC absolutely can't keep me away. That is thank you. You are so sweet. But have you received your return on investment so far? For your attending this conference, Steve Forbes asked me for my business card. I returned my. I got there you my go. Return on there you go. But the, it's it's just being around people who get us, and most of us are around people who don't get us most of the time. Um, oh, you know, we that come, is so true. We come off the stage and there's a thousand adoring fans, and you feel like a rock star, and then you get back to your hotel room, and then you get that middle seat flying back home, <laughs> and you're squished in there, and you walk in the house, and the the significant other in your in your life says, "Hey, can you do me a favor and go up and pick up the dog doodles in the back yard because I have to mow the lawn." And, and you're like, and you're like, oh, but I want to tell you how fantastic it was. <laughs> but I was and great. Like, and they're like, uh huh. But yeah, you always say that. And so yeah, good job. Yeah, you. There so you. it's just yeah. great to be around people who get you, people who right. like you. And right. I have to say, my best friends on the planet are all right here, except if you're not here. Um, yeah, all, they're some all right of us here. are missing. <laughs> and I have to tell you, the a evolution of a dance guy is evolving you know, right behind us around, doing Judd, dancing. Come, come on, say Judson. Hi. Come, come say hi. No, no, no. Judson, come, come on, Judson. Give We're me a kiss. Alive. Come, come on. on. Uh, this is so. Judson Lampley of the Evolution of Dance. And, and this is why this convention is so fun. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. So, Yay. who? Yeah. Who? gets to meet Ooh. people who are, I don't know, the hottest thing on YouTube. It's what's great about NSA. It you is never know who you're going to meet. You meet people who have climbed Everest. You meet people who have swam to the bottom of the ocean. That's I mean, it. we get people from all literally walks of life. People it's with no true. arms, no legs. I mean, all sorts of people who have overcome unbelievable things. So It's true. And, and then if you're having a bad day, you just go online to YouTube and type in Evolution of Dance. And I tell you, it just makes your whole day. It certainly does. It makes does. your whole day. And before you know it, you're dancing around. Nobody dances as well as Judson, of no. course. But it's just yes, they do. fun. <laughs> it's just I have a seven fun. and a half minute dance. That's it. Don't ask me to do anything <laughs> other than that amount. That's but it. It's that's evolutionary. That's um, it. Now, speaking of people who have overcome things talk just a little bit about the wounded warrior program that you have so there's a few things that we're doing right now so first off thank you Judson first there's two things going on that people might know about so one is part of the foundation dinner tonight which is Monday night part of the fundraising on that goes to the warrior foundation this is a San Diego based group that supports military veterans and it's not just the older folks although they support them too but it's a community they're volunteers it's called the warrior foundation in San Diego so that's one part of it the second thing that some people don't know about is the cigar peg every year for the past few years and Ed Rigsby has been fabulous mm. he said Mary will you please be the military liaison so my older brother his wife my sister her husband my husband me my younger brother were all military so this is very close to my heart yes. 
and he said, if you've got military people that you want to bring in, we will take care of airfare, hotel, registration, get them into the cigar peg, get them to the foundation dinner, and really welcome them into the fold, which is NSA. And Ed Rigsby has done that for me and these veterans, and I am so thrilled to be part of this. And thank you, Ed, and everybody who donates to the cigar peg for helping fund that and giving these folks a, a real shot at being amazingly successful with their talent. Many people have a misperception of veterans, and this is why last year for the cigar peg, the DJ was a 53 crew chief named David, the sound guy, very close to my heart, a guy named Steve Kelly. We happen to be related. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy to hire veterans, and many people think I'm not sure what I'm going to get. What you're going to get is dedication, people who show up, cheerful, ready to go, mission-oriented, focused, and all and about making those meeting planners look like a rock star. That's fantastic. Mary Kelly, thank you for being with us. Congratulations on your CSP.